Welcome to the Squeeze Trigger Report for Friday, December 15th. I'm your host, Tom Wrong, founder and CEO of SqueezeTrigger.com. We're gonna start our show off today by talking about market direction. We'll look at the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ and see how we have breakouts yesterday all to the upside. We'll then go over and take a look at OmniTrader and see if we have any new long signals on the Dow or the NASDAQ. We'll also go over to Visual Trader and recap yesterday's market by 15 minute bars and see how the market opened, what happened in the midday, and how it closed. We'll then go over and take a look at squeeze triggers and look at stocks that have short squeezes starting right now as well as those that will set alerts on for the near future. We'll also go over and take a look at trade ideas using market history. It's been very successful and we have four or five new ideas for you. We'll go over and take a look at Earnings Edge and, take, and see which stocks have earnings reports coming out before or after the bell today. We'll also do that for stocks with earnings coming out in later December and early January. We'll go over to Seasonal Edge and look at equities that do well from December 15th on. We'll also do the same thing for commodities and see which commodities futures have an edge, either long or short, from December 15th going forward for anywhere from uh, 20 to 30 days. We'll also do that for currency pairs and see which foreign currencies against the dollar have the best chance for long or short. And then we'll finish up with pattern scan and look at a number of different pattern signals that look like they're all breaking out to the upside because all the indices were moving yesterday. So the Dow finally broke above the 12,375 resistance yesterday and rallied up until the close. The index is now firmly above resistance and could be headed higher still. The OmniTrader chart here shows we are still in the long signal and we have a powerful inverted head and shoulders pattern that has broken to the upside. The Visual Trader 15 minute chart shows how the Dow opened firm and then it pulled back and faded quietly for the rest of the afternoon and it consolidated. As we approached the afternoon session, it exploded to the upside and on through to the close and the Dow ended up closing up 99 points to 12,416. So it's squarely above that 12,375 level we wanted for the breakout. Over on the NASDAQ, we saw that it rallied from the bottom of its trading range and got an initial breakout yesterday. Take a look at the OmniTrader chart here and you see that it's re-entered the long signal and you also have the, the NASDAQ up above the trend line. If the NASDAQ were to get above 2465, we go even heavier to the long side. The Visual Trader 15 minute chart here shows the early morning rally and then like the Dow, it just kind of pulled back and got quiet midday and then we had a nice rally at the close. So we're in the first step of uh, another rally within the major uptrend. So what we want to do is watch above 2465 to the upside and watch 2430 to the downside. We have market history trade ideas on all the indexes today. Here's how we set up the query. How has the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ performed after the Dow achieves an intraday all-time high in the month of December? That's what we had right here. Answer, according to the eight previous occurrences of this event, the Dow has shown a strong bullish edge that peaks 37 trading days, that's two months, after the event. It rallies in 88% of the cases, that's seven out of eight of the past years, by an average of 4.5% relative to the close on the event date. That would put us right up around 13,000, and we've been talking about this for months now. The average of the one decline is down 2.7%, and the overall return in the eight cases is 3.6%. Let's go over and take a look at the S&P 500. The SPX has shown a strong bullish edge that peaks 40 trading days. That's exactly two months after the event. It rallies in 75% of the cases, that's six out of eight times, by an average of 4.4% relative to the close on the event date. The average of the two declines is down 0.9%, and the overall return of the eight cases is 3.1%. And finally, over on the NASDAQ, We've shown a strong bullish edge that peaks 51 trading days after the event. It rallies 88% of the time, that's seven of the last eight years, by an average of 10.6% relative to the close on the event date. The average of the one decline is down 2.8% and the average return on the eight cases is 9%. So listen, we're in a bullish mode, buy, go long. Let's go over and take a look at our squeeze trigger crossover events and squeeze trigger alerts for today.
All right, today we have five crossover events and one alert to talk to you about today. The way we arrive at these is we go to www.squeezetrigger.com each morning. We click on strategies, we click on squeeze trigger, and it pulls up a list. On that list is all stocks that are crossing above one of their squeeze trigger levels. We're sorting it then by total short interest and we want only those stocks with more than 1 million shares of total short interest. And here's our first one. It's also one of our favorites. It's Pain Therapeutics. The symbol is P-T-I-E. 4 million shares of total short interest. The squeeze trigger price is $8.32. It's currently at $9.39. There's $38 million that needs to cover. We've got a $13 price target on PTIE. If you take a look back in 05, there was just about $20 million a month being shorted. You get into November, December, it jumps up to about $60 million a month. And then in February, it jumps all the way up to $120 million a month. So we like shares of PTIE is one of our favorites. The next one is GSI Commerce. The symbol is GSIC. 3.3 million shares of total short interest. The squeeze trigger price is $15.84. The current price is $18.55. There's $61 million that needs to cover. We've got a $22 price target on GSIC. If you take a look back in 05, anywhere from 20 to $60 million a month being shorted, you get into October of 05, it gets heavier. You go up to $100 million a month. And then in 06, it was anywhere between 40 and $60 million a month. So we like GSIC, but it's not one of our favorites. The next one is CT Communications, the symbol CTCI. 2.34 million shares of total short interest. $19.90 is the squeeze trigger price. It's currently at $22.42. $52 million to cover and a $26 price target. If you take a look, almost no shorting to speak of in 05. You get into 06, it ramps up to over $100 million a month. So not one of our favorites, but it could be a good trade. The next one is Weyerhaeuser. We've talked about this before in our Earnings Edge and Trade Idea segment. The symbol's WY. 7 million shares of total short interest. Squeeze trigger price is $65.33. It's all the way up to $7409, so it's already made a big move. But we still like it because there's $521 million that needs to cover. We've got a $78 price target on Weyerhaeuser. If you go back to 05, you had heavy short selling up to as much as $1.6 billion a month. In 06, as much as $1.2 to $1.4 million billion a month. So uh, we like Weyerhaeuser. It's still not one of our favorites, though. The next one is one of our favorites. It's Adobe. The symbol's ADBE. 15.68 million shares of total short interest. Squeeze trigger price was $37. It's currently at $42.87 on good earnings and a good outlook, good guidance. $673 million still needs to cover. We've got a $48 price target. If you look back in 05, as much as $2.5 billion a month being shorted. In December, it gets over that. Uh, all the way through 2006, about $1.5 billion a month being shorted. So the shorts are in trouble on this one. Stocks got further to go. The one alert we have today is Immunicon. The symbol is IMMC. 1.06 million shares of total short interest. The squeeze trigger price is $4.75. The current price is $4.24, so it's just over 50 cents away. Don't buy it yet, set an alert at $4.75. There's $4.4 million that needs to cover. We've got a $6 price target. If you look back in 05, you had about $5 million a month being shorted. Same thing, uh, just under $5 million a month in 06. So take a look at the chart we put up here in front of you, and then we're gonna go to a commercial break.